Hey guys, welcome back to yet another episode from The Void, guys. Um, that means we're back together after your little cheating on me last week with Nico yes, Golden. Sorry for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that was quite funny watching two Germans speaking English, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, right, we've got a bit of a change in our lineup because what we said we were going to do last time was that we would uh, integrate a extension how you could uh, dynamically log in and out of queues and so on. Um, but something's come up. We've noticed that we don't actually have any music on hold yet. Yeah, uh, which it's is sad. It's, yeah, it's sad. It's also quite important. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do that today instead before moving on to the dynamic logging in, logging out. Um, uh, but before we start that, we've got something else. Um, one of our YouTube followers has come up with a, a question for us. Um, they were watching the compiling asterisk tutorial way back. I think it's tutorial number two or something. Mm-hmm. And they've come across a bit of a problem whereby when they use the asterisk command ship, uh, sip show peers, uh, it's not recognized. Matthias, what's that all about? Yeah, I can show it on the console mm-hmm. what the problem could be. Um, if I go to the asterisk C line, um, I can type in zip show peers. In my case, that just works because I did everything right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, that this works, you need a loaded SIP module. Okay. Um, Normally you just should have that because SIP is one of the core modules and it's loaded always Mm -hmm. if you don't say do not load the SIP module. Right. But you can check it. You can say module show not like. Yeah, you could say show like Mm -hmm. and filter it, but show shows all um, the modules which are loaded and what you need is a Channel. channel. And you need the channel zip, which is this one. This loads the zip stack module. So first check if gen zip is loaded. If so, you can test it. You can just type in SI and then press tap. And then it should show you zip because of Mm -hmm. automatically command completion. Okay. Um, There can be another reason, what I guess. Um, If you start the zip module, and if there is no proper DNS configuration, uh-huh. then it may be very laggy or hangs or does not even load at all. Uh-huh. Because ChenZip or the ZIP module relies on DNS resolution because maybe uh-huh. you have a ZIP carrier which is just a domain name where you have to register. Uh-huh. It has to resolve the, uh, the domain name into an IP address. Okay. So it checks if the um, DNS works proper. Uh-huh. If not, um, it is not a problem if the DNS says, no, I'm not working, or no, I can not do resolution, but if it's misconfigured, maybe it just hangs, because it asks, can you uh, do domain resolution? Mm-hmm. And the domain server does not react, or does say nothing, or, or that does not even exist. Okay. And maybe it takes a while. Yeah, of course. And yeah. um, then it just times out. So check, please check your um, module. Mm-hmm. If it's loaded, yeah, and check the DNS resolution if it's working. Okay, then it should. Hopefully, be no problem. Well, hopefully we've been able to help you out there. Um, yeah. Um, anybody else who's got any problems like that, just let us know on our YouTube channel or in the blog posts, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Mm-hmm. So, on to music on hold. Yeah. Yeah. So the next, the next thing I can show you, we are still working with our examples. So we have um, a queue with extensions 300. We can mm-hmm. call it and. I'm the static member. Yeah. So just my phone will ring. Mm-hmm. What happens if I dial? You got a ringtone because your phone is called, mm-hmm. and I can hear nothing, not even the dial tone. No. Because um, if I call a queue, just like this in our dial plan, it tries to um, start music on hold. Um, you can see this in the background. Music on hold, yeah, you cannot see it. <laughs> Music on hold class default. Yeah. So it tries to play something, but you cannot hear it. You can change the behavior of a cue um, with an option uh-huh. that you get a ringtone instead of music on hold, but default is music on hold, but we cannot hear it. Okay. So let's figure out what is the problem about the music on hold. We go back to our dial plan. extensions.conf. We go to the extensions of our queue, which is 300 somewhere down here. The problem is we do not answer the call. 
what's about that? We just call in. Mm -hmm. We do not answer the call, so mm -hmm. you can hear nothing. Right. And we just throw you to the queue. We start mm -hmm. playing music, but the channel is closed, so okay. you cannot hear anything. Let's see what makes the difference if I answer the channel. Um, then I have to do a reload of the dial plan, as always. Then I give it a try. And you can hear beautiful <laughs> music on <I> hold it. <laughs> well, at least it's not the monkeys. No, <laughs> but it works. Yeah. And it works out of the box. Why does it work? Um, because Asterisk is shipped with some default music on hold, which yep. just works. Mm -hmm. And that's most important, which you are allowed. It's getting crazy now. Yeah. <laughs> um, which you are allowed to use. Okay. So, um, yeah. you're not always allowed to use every music because of license issues, mm -hmm. but you are allowed to use that music, which is shipped with asterisk. If you use it with asterisk, you okay. can add copy it to an another free, platform, free switch, mm -hmm. for example, yeah, or okay. something like this. Mm -hmm. um, so, why does this happen? So, if you're uh, lucky with that music, we can just leave it as is, but we can change the behavior of the music in okay. some configuration files. Configuration files, as always, in the asterisk subfolder and it's called musiconhold.conf. As usual, the documentation is in the file. Mm -hmm. Normally we rip it out, yeah. but uh, it's not so much, so we can leave it in there. Um, the only class or context which exists is default mm -hmm. and asterisk does always a fallback to default or okay. uses default if you press um, the hold button to hold somebody then he will hear the default music. Okay. You can change that. You can have more than one music on hold. Okay. Mm -hmm. But let's see what's configured here. There is configured a mode which is files. That means asterisk does directly read the wave files. Okay. Or any other files. If mm -hmm. you have loaded the module, it's described above. Mm -hmm. And it uses directory MOH which has to be under var lib asterisk. Right. So there is var lib asterisk moh and there are some files in there and they are played. Okay. Um, you can define, as I uh, already mentioned, more than one um, class. class. Support. The mode is also files directory di Directory is support. Now I have two different classes in two uh -huh. different subfolders. Uh -huh. Does this make sense to have more than one music on hold? Um, this makes sense for sure. Yeah. Um, because you can have a special music on hold, for instance, for your support team. And another one for your for sales. sales yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, not only because of the music, but you can prepare a WAV file mm -hmm. which has mixed voice, speech and music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could start with music, fade out a little bit, yeah. then say something like, thank you for calling our support team. Uh, we, we try to pick up your call. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to wait any longer, write us an email and then yeah. fade in. Or for example, we could say like for, with the support, thanks very much uh, for calling support. Your call is very important. Um, if you don't have time to wait, please refer to our wiki or something like that. Something like this. Yeah. You can just inform the customer or the caller mm -hmm. with something useful for yeah. them. Mm -hmm. And it is different in different queues or different teams. Yeah, in course. the sales team, you could say something like use our online shop. Yeah. You get 5% discount. Yeah. Something like this. Or a latest promotion. Or yeah, yeah, something like this. Mm -hmm. So, the, it is really, um, it could be very interesting to have different music on hold sets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's move on. Mode files is not the only mode, because if it would be the only mode, you don't have to have a variable for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, there is also a mode which is called Custom. Custom means that you just call any other application 
which can play music uh -huh. or sound or something. So you can call an MP3 player, right. you can call a streaming client, okay. you can stream the radio a program of your favorite radio station. That could be a bit dangerous, but yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it is dangerous because of licensing issues, yeah. but it would work. Um, you could do it. Um, at the beginning of Asterisk, they started always MP, uh, she, uh, MPG 123, mm -hmm. um, which is a player, right. MPEG player. Um, the problem with that was um, it caused some deadlocks and some problems in Asterisk, uh -huh. um, but um, it played the file um, all, uh, always on start of Asterisk. Right. And if somebody calls Asterisk, he can hear the file not from the beginning, uh, but somewhere where the file is just played. Maybe mm -hmm. this is not important for you because yeah. you have just music and it's mm -hmm. not important. But if you have announcements, that would be very mm -hmm. difficult because it could be that you, the caller doesn't hear the announcement or he hears the announcement in the wrong order, or mm -hmm. order if you've got your MP3 player on repeat yeah. and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically you should use file. Yeah. That's and that's easy, and then it just starts. That's playing. a smart way of doing things. Yes. And um, because you're talking about order, you can say, if you have more than one file in the directory, you can mm -hmm. say sort it um, alphabetically order, or sort it random, just play some file. Mm -hmm. um, you can change that behavior if you want to. Right. I'm mm -hmm. not sure about the default behavior. I think random, I'm not sure. Um, or it starts with the newest, the oldest, I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but you can um, define the order if you want to. So that's it. Um, now we move to uh, the files. Varlib asterisk. Here you can see uh, the MOH subdirectory with all our files in there. There are many files. Mm -hmm. um, those are just license information about the files. Um, you are allowed to use them with asterisk, but we can now create our new folder, which was um, support, support. Yeah. and we change the ownership to asterisk. All the other folders are also owned by asterisk, yeah. so just change it to support. Then we go into our support subdirectory and copy one file from the other. Uh, music on hold in there because we have no own there which is a good license that we could use <laughs> in our video <laughs> use Mac cold day that's very very good for Germany <laughs> <laughs> or England or England now this is in there change the ownership again asterisk So that's it. Now we go back to the asterisk console and say, no, I need more verbosity. M H O M O H M O H reload. And then we could say M O H show classes. And now we have a new class there, support. Uh -huh and um, the default class. If we call our queue again, then nothing special happens, but I just show it. Now we have the music playing. Yeah. And if you uh, switch back to the screen, please. Um, he still uses the default class. Yeah. You can see it. Uh -huh. Class default plays that music. So now I can change the behavior. I can change it in two ways. There is a channel variable which okay. I can set to change the uh, music, uh -huh. or it's a queue parameter in the queues.conf okay. where I can change the music. Right. I think it's more dynamic to change it with a channel variable. Okay. Because then you could choose different music for the same queue. Right. Uh -huh. In different situations. Yeah. You can find that uh, in the documentation of Core Show Application Music on Hold. There is the channel variable described, which you can set. 
etc asterisk um, extensions conf go down there before we answer the call or after I think it's not important we change the channel variable to of the music of hold class to support we have to reload the dial plan we have to have more verbosity <laughs> okay then we call the queue again different now music a different music mm -hmm. Um, we can see um, it changes the class to support. support. Uh -huh. So I think that's it about music on hold. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we can talk about the file formats which you can use. Uh -huh. It depends. Um, you have to lo uh, a file can read every file which asterisk can understand. Right. Okay. Many files, many codecs, many different stuff. Yep. But um, you have to load the module. Mm -hmm. For sure, he can just read WAV files. Yep. So if you want to be sure, just use WAV files. Um, you don't need the best quality in your WAV files. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need stereo files. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. you, you don't need a CD quality mm -hmm. because you break it down to a maximum of HD codec yeah. mm -hmm. of your telephony system. So, um, and for the most part, when people are calling in, it's going to be mono anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's not so important. The quality is not so important. You shouldn't use good enough for yeah. the HD codec. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And then just try it out and put it in there. Yeah. That's all about music cool. and hold. There you go, there you have it. Um, right, as we said at the beginning, uh, next time we'll be having another look at the applications for um, dynamic logging in and out of queues. Uh, until next time, thanks very much for watching. Thank Goodbye. you, bye. bye.